Joined here by Stetson Jr.'s Ellen Hawks and Kaylee Melville after Stetson's 3-2 win over Bethune-Cookman. And uh, Ellen, I'll start with you. Career high today, 14 kills. You also had five blocks. Talk about how you were feeling out there today. Um, it was just really exciting. Um, it wasn't just me. It was the setters were on, the passing was on, um, and it just made it possible. And it was just really cool to see uh, my team, my setters have confidence in me and keep giving me the ball so that um, we could do what we needed to do. Um, so it was really exciting. The first set was a wild one, 32 to 30. You guys were down big early in that set. What were you guys talking about during those timeouts? Um, we were really talking about bringing up the energy and communication. Um, early on, Bethune was um, out talking us and um, calling things. And so uh, we just got back out there and um, started calling all our hitters out and doing everything we could to make noise and um, kind of put them on the back burners and gain momentum. So that's really what made the difference. All right, Mel, you tied a career high with 19 digs. Um, your dig totals have been up this year. What's been working for you in the backside? Um, it's just me and my libero back there. We've been playing kind of two-man defense, and we're just going all out. We know we have to get the ball up so that Ellen can hit and get it to the setters. So we're just working within the system, and it's working very well. You guys have had a lot of close losses and sets this year. How important was it uh, not only get that first set win, but another close set win in the third set? This was a huge momentum shift for us. Um, the captains were actually talking on the way to the gym that this game was the game. And we came out here, and as you said, we came back from two huge deficits and fought back, which were on a platform to take off and go into conference. Well, congratulations. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you.